Now to our continuing coverage of the controversy that is still happening in Springfield. So it's been the subject of much attention after former President Donald Trump falsely suggested that the town's Haitian population was eating people's pets. Scripps News Deputy Political Director Joe St. George is live for us this evening in Springfield. And Joe, you've been talking with people there on the ground to learn much more about how the community has really changed by what was said during that presidential debate. Yeah, good evening, uh, Damon. Good evening, Katie. We came here to Springfield today not to further amplify a lie or a falsehood, but really to understand the why. Why is the Republican presidential ticket still talking about Springfield, Ohio so much? And we also wanted to understand the how. How is this community still dealing with the nationwide attention? Springfield, Ohio is not located in a swing state but it is certainly receiving swing state-like attention. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs. After the Republican presidential ticket falsely suggested that Haitian immigrants who are here legally were eating pets. Springfield is a symbol of the immigration debate. This is one of the most disappointing, really horrible stories that I've ever encountered. Ray Marcano is an Ohio-based journalist who has covered this part of the Buckeye State for decades. He believes Springfield's unique story presents a perfect political opportunity, combining social media rumors with one of the biggest issues of the 2024 campaign. If you make enough noise, the people who are anti-immigration will hear it. And that's especially important during an election season. A recent Scripps News Ipsos poll found immigration to be one of the most important issues of the presidential election, ranking only behind the economy. But Republicans here in Springfield say the national spotlight wasn't helping their community until the former president mentioned it at the last debate. It's actually good because it's putting pressure on the state and local government to pay attention to this issue. Uh, you say um, this has been a good thing. Others have said this has been a very bad thing because there is no evidence of Haitian immigrants eating any type of animal in Springfield, Ohio. You're correct about that. And it's really tragic that it took those comments to really make this issue go national. Laura Rosenberger is a longtime Springfield resident and chair of the local Republican Party. She acknowledges the pet eating claim is wrong, but says to fully understand this controversy, you have to first understand Springfield. It's a community where many residents are frustrated that immigrants can afford housing while they cannot. Over 10,000 Haitians live in the county. Traffic has changed and some fear has set in too after a bus crash involving a Haitian immigrant killed an 11 year old boy. They just don't know how to drive here. But some living in the new epicenter of the nation's immigration debate say Trump's political strategy could backfire when November comes. Jacob Payne is a Haitian immigrant who lives in Springfield. Are you mad at former President Trump? Do I want to say mad? I'm not, I'm not happy. And one thing I want to say to you that President Trump doesn't realize, we have a lot of Haitian American citizens who are registered voters. When you do that, when you make those kind of statements, you slap him in the face. And one big question nationally is, does this have a residual impact on the presidential election? The largest Haitian population anywhere in the U.S. is in Florida. Florida Democrats think they may be able to capitalize on what's unfolding here in Springfield, Ohio. But it doesn't seem as if former President Trump is going to stop mentioning Springfield anytime soon. He mentioned it last night at his rally in Pennsylvania. Guys. Joe, so good to hear from the people on the ground there. Important to get there and talk with the people on both sides of the issue and the leaders there and really talk this out and get the facts. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Joe St. George live in Springfield for us tonight. Good to see you guys.